Greetings, people of the internet. This is Scott with CircWorks, and this is 100 Days of Making Comics. That's the show, or this is the show, where I put aside at least 30 minutes a day, hopefully more, uh, to work on my own personal comic book project. My personal comic book project is called Young and the Dead. And uh, so this is the current issue. This is actually the Deluxe Artist Edition. It's all nice shrink wrapped. It's got a little noose tying it all together. You can open it up and you can see the inside of the artwork. Uh, it's hand stamped and everything. All put together by me and uh, all drawn and everything by me. And this one actually has an original sketch included with it. And so this is issue two. There's two issues available. That's <laughs> and there's two different versions. There's this deluxe version and just a standard version. And these are up at my website at circworks.com. So you guys can check that out. So I just showed you uh, issue two. So that means currently I am working on issue three. And uh, yesterday I kind of took a break um, not not from working. I did work on the comic, but uh, as far as videos go, and I showed you some of my my old uh, comic book uh, work from when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, that's always uh, fun to do. So that's the second time I've done that one. So we'll see. <laughs> Last time people seemed to like it. So I don't know. It's kind of I don't know. Yeah, I like I like looking at that. Uh, I like it looking at people's old stuff and see how they progressed and everything. And it's always, it's always fun when you get that kid logic going and things that kids dream up and just the imagination where it's just unhindered and it just you can go almost anywhere. That's why um, I've been watching. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you guys heard of the the the, the web comic Axe Cop, and I just started watching. I never really followed the comic, but I knew the premise and everything, which is. The idea behind that is that it's it's written by a five-year-old kid and his brother, who's you know older, he was in his twenties or whatever when he started, uh, draws it all out. But the kid comes up with all the ideas from the story. This a five-year-old at the time, um, but anyway, so they they made like an animated series of it, and I've been watching that on Hulu, and it's pretty hilarious because it's just the crazy kind of stuff that kids come up with, and that's what's fun looking back at my old stuff. I mean, some of these ideas, I mean. <laughs> you try to you try to put those in a realistic world, and not that comic books need to be realistic, but you know you, there should be some some believability. But you know it's it's fun when you can just throw all that aside and just do the craziest stuff. Uh, but anyway, so not that not that this idea that I'm working on right now isn't all that crazy. It uh, it deals with zombies and kids and and uh, and uh, they have adventures in the zombie apocalypse, fighting off zombies, trying to find a cure and everything. Um, but yeah, so, so anyway, back to the, uh, drawing board today. I did happen to finish another page. Oh, uh, this one's not quite as exciting as the last one. There's a lot of, you know, talking and stuff that's going on, but I'll just kind of show you. Uh, yeah, not a whole lot going on, but it is another page down. So this is page number six. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, let's see. So these are my thumbnails here. And... <laughs> This is just, when you're working on these projects and they take a long time, you always want to find little milestones and things to, to oh, I got, finally got to this point and that point and everything. So as you can see, I break them up into six, six pages for my thumbnails. So I have completed all these pages so I can get rid of that. And this is what I have next. I've got another six pages and then another six pages and then another four pages after that. So that's kind of how I'm breaking everything apart, just to keep my sanity going. So it's coming along. And of course, these are just pencil. I still got to ink them and color them and do all that stuff. But I do have the first page fully done. So, so that one's totally checked off. Um, but yeah, and the next page that I got to start on next is, uh, should be interesting. It's I'm trying to capture kind of a montage like uh, you would see in these old, because my, my comic book takes place in the 80s, and that was just right for all kinds of crazy montages. Just just watch Rocky, <laughs> just watch Rocky uh, 4, and you'll, you'll see that movie is like 90% montages. <laughs> I think it's, <laughs> there's probably about 15 minutes of new footage and everything else is a montage. But, so yeah, that was kind of a staple of the 80s, so that's definitely something that I want to try to throw into my comic book, and, um, and, and, 
I'm trying to tour, I'm toying around with the idea of how exactly to do that as far as visually. Usually they're set to music, you know, we got these musical montages. Um, but uh, yeah, that's not as easy to do in, uh, in comic book form, so I think I'll just kind of skip the music. Um, I guess whoever's reading it can put their, whatever music they want in their head. But, um, but anyway, yeah, I just want to show kind of different kids doing different things and I'll, you know, I'll show you more when I get along, but it's right now, and I've got, I've got it thumbnailed out, but it's still, that doesn't always um, mean that it's going to, how it's going to translate to the page, so we will see, we will see how that goes, and uh, that, that should be an exciting and challenging page to, uh, to start working on, so uh, what else is going on, what else is going on since uh, I was kind of away from the art desks uh, last, uh, or yesterday's episode, um, I don't know. We got uh, we got a couple new uh, new people that joined just joined in in the 100. So I wanted to kind of give them a uh, plug and and you should go out and check check out their videos because they're really really good. Um, yeah, unfortunately some people have been dropping off and everything. Um, didn't quite complete the their challenge. Uh, some people may be coming back. I don't know. Sometimes people need to just a break to recharge and everything. So. We'll see how that goes, but uh, yeah, I mean, the idea is, I, we, you know, I think uh, Kevin, who started this, would agree with me, so I will just speak for him, and uh, Kevin Cross at KevinCross.net, he's the one that kind of came up with the whole uh, Making Comics Challenge, but, uh, you know, I think it's definitely he would agree that this is something we want to keep going, so it's always cool when new people join in, and it, it just... Hopefully it'll be a constant thing with new people joining in as people are wrapping up and everything like that. Um, yeah, but two, two ladies just started doing uh, doing the challenge, and I want to give them shout-outs. Uh, let's see. So these aren't actual names. These are just their YouTube names and then their projects. And I'll put a link in the YouTube comment section. Um, so Dark and Mar is doing a comic book called um, Monogatory. Really cool. It's kind of... Uh, it's a little bit like anime inspired, but it's got some Western look to it too. And I, I like that stuff because I like, uh, I'm not a huge like anime fan, not just, not because I don't like it or anything, but just, I'm just not as familiar. My kids are trying to start getting me into it. They've got me watching, I, I think, uh, Guron Lagon is the one that I just watched three episodes of that. So I'm trying to get into stuff like that. My kids, my boys especially are huge into anime. So but I've always kind of, I like the look and everything. Some of the anime gets a little crazy with some of the expressions and stuff. And it's, uh, you know, it's hard for me to, you know, <laughs> get used to. But I love, and I, I was going to say I love Avatar because it's kind of a combination of both. Uh, the last Airbender Avatar, not the James Cameron Avatar, which I like that too. Um, but, <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I kind of like when you, they kind of mesh both those kind of styles together so yeah really cool comic book she does a real good job of the videos um a lot of she shows the process she talks a little bit so really doing a good job so keep it up um and then the other one is introducing emmy and her comic book it's a web comic and i hadn't heard of it before but i guess peter palmiati um has been following it and a lot of other people are it's got a pretty big following it's called trying human and uh Again, great, great videos um, and artwork. Every, on both the both these projects, the artwork is looking great. So, really excited to have new blood infused into this whole thing, and I will be following you guys. So, keep up the awesome work. Uh, what else? That might be, you know, that might be about it. You know, this might be a little bit of a shorter one. Well, not too short. We're at we're almost at nine minutes right now. So that's what I'm up to. That is uh, episode seventy three. I'll see you guys tomorrow for episode 74. That is all.